All right, we're back. Uh, taking a look at the next step here. We're going to be building this uh, research module. You see that here. Um, looks pretty nice. Uh, we're going to try to get something that looks like that. Now, if you remember last time, I cut my uh, my housing unit in half, getting it ready to be printed. But now, uh, since we're not going to be printing it, we're actually going to be using the model. What I've done is uh, duplicated it, flipped it over, and then... Uh, basically glued them back together and then I grouped them so now they're all in a in a group and so I got my shape back at least but you can see where it was cut before so you'll have to do that uh, uh, perhaps by uh, uh, once we start building the space station we're gonna have to have that complete piece kind of piece back together but we're gonna start a new piece today uh, so what they suggest is uh, we'll just follow along with the uh, instructions over here on the left let me get back to the beginning though, because that's where we're starting. Uh, that's what we want to build. Start with the cylinder. All right, and we want to size it 30 by 30, 30 uh, millimeters in diameter and 30 millimeters tall, which is our size. So we have that size correctly. Uh, next, uh, we need to create a cone shape. And again, the the diameter is 30, so I'm holding down the shift key so I can keep those X and Y dimensions uh, the same. But then I'll grab the top, and I want to make that only 10 millimeters tall, so going down to 10. And then they ask us to li line those up, so select those two. Use the alignment tool and get them lined up. Um, I think they want it on top, so we're going to have to lift this first. We know that the cylinder is 30 millimeters, so we're going to grab that little triangle thing there, and we'll lift it up 30. Uh, there. And now we can line them up, one on top of the other. Be careful what you're selecting, though. I selected too much there. Align and do that. These are great grayed out. You see those two are grayed out, so it means they're lined up. Alright, so we've done that. Go to the next step. We want to chop the top of the hat off, so we're going to use our shadow box here. Uh, we want to use the same size as the diameter of the cylinder, so we'll go out to 30. And then we want to lift that up. Uh, now they say here that we want to lift it up 33 millimeters, so that would be up here. And then we'll also select the you know, all three objects. And then we'll also, we'll then align them uh, vertically as well. And basically we're going to use the box to chop off the pointy part of the hat. Uh, to do this we'll have to group them together though, so select them all and then just say group and then it chops off the top there which is what we want next we need a cone uh, we bring that out uh, it uh, needs to be 30 millimeters in diameter so we'll do that and then uh, it also be needs to be 15 millimeters tall so we'll shorten it then it also asks us to uh, fl flip it over. This is the part I always have trouble with. Um, so you want to go over 180. There we go. And what we want to do is put this on the bottom of the cylinder. So uh, we've got to sink this down. We know that it's 15 millimeters. Uh, high so we're gonna drop it down 15 I think that will make it flush with the bottom looks like it does and now we can line these two up using the alignment tool so here's the alignment tool line them there and then there and now they're lined up and then once we have them both selected we can uh, hit the letter D and that will move it back up so it's on the just touching the the work plane 
Uh, next up, we want to make a cylinder, and it says 15 in diameter, so a little bit smaller, and then 20 high, so we'll grab that and make that 20, and line all those up, so we don't have to move anything, but yeah, line those up vertically. So again, here and there. Oops, maybe not. Let's do that again. I think I got confused. So we select everything there, and then we say align that one. Yeah. Now they're lined up. Cool. Uh, next, we take another cylinder, and this one's going to be 18 millimeters uh, in diameter and 10 tall, so a lot of cylinders in this one. 10 tall. And also a cone, so we grab a cone. And that's... Uh, Cone needs to be 18 as well, so let's make it a little smaller. Height needs to be 10, a little bit smaller. And now we uh, lift it up 10 millimeters so it can go on top of the cylinder. And then we just have to line them up with the alignment tool. Lined up, looks pretty good. Still not grouping anything. <laughs> Select all the shapes and align them vertically. Hmm, this is the weird part. Because if you line them vertically, uh, they're going to overlap each other. But we'll do what they say. So we align them here and here. See, the one's inside the other, so you can't quite see it. But then it says this, and this is the hard part on this one, is, is you, you select this cylinder part, which is already grouped, but you also have to select this little cone part. And I'm holding down the shift key to select that. We don't want to select the bottom thing, but just the, the purple cone shape thing and the top cylinder. And then we want to lift that up 12 millimeters. Not what we want. So let me try selecting those again. Yeah, so I'm grabbing the arrow and, and pulling it up 12, and we get that shape. So that's a little bit challenging, trying to select just that and that without selecting anything else. It's kind of a hard thing to do. Um, now we can uh, group them together. Finally, we get to group them. And you can tell it's grouped because it changed all to the same color. So go on to the next step. Uh, next time, next we have to create the docking, uh, docking hole. So let's uh, create that cylinder. It needs to be 10 by 10.5. So we're going to have to change the snap down here to do that. So we'll drag that on. First, uh, shrink this down to 10. Well, it has to be 10.5. So. We'll change the snap down here to 0.5 millimeters, and that'll allow us to get those half millimeters. So let's do that again. I'm holding down the shift key and then dragging it just a little bit. 10.5 there. And then uh, the other dimension is, is 10. So we'll go down a half millimeter. And then I would switch this back uh, to one millimeter because we might... We'll need to use it later, and it's a little bit easier at um, one millimeter. And uh, change the cylinder into a hole. So we'll do that. It's a hole. And then align them vertically. And then we'll use that to cut out the port. So let's do that. Aligning here and here. Now it's in there. We're lined up. 
And now all we have to do is group them together. And should cut that hole out. Let's try it. So we group it. And we take a look in. Yeah, sure enough, that hole has been cut. So I'm assuming that hole needs to plug in right there. Hopefully it's the right size. <laughs> All right, so we're getting there. We're getting really close. Still have a few more steps, though. Uh, next, uh, another cone shape. So we're going to make some room for ourselves. I'm going to move this. Let's grab it and move it over here for now. This next part is kind of weird. Um, you grab a cone. Now the cone has to be 31 millimeters in diameter. And it has to be, well, yeah, they also talk about this tube that we're going to need. So let's grab the tube. And the tube is 31 millimeters in diameter as well, so we'll drag that out. And then it's only two millimeters tall, so it's really skinny there. And then we need to put this um, cone on top of it. So let's change the color first. So we're going to change it. Pink's kind of my alternate color, so I'm doing that. And then um, yeah, we did the cone shape. Doesn't look like it matters how tall it is. And then we put that on top of the the ring. So that means we have to lift this up first a little bit. So two millimeters up, two. And then align them vertically using the alignment tool. Here and there. Now they're lined up. And then they want you to make another cone. I think in the next one. Put it on the bottom. So I'm just going to duplicate this one. I don't want to have to size it. They they want you to drag one out, but I just save a little time because this is the same size. Uh, hit the duplicate button, move it off to the side, and flip it over. I'll flip it over. Not quite. Try again. There might be a key you can hold down to make this not so touchy. It's just really hard to do. See, each time I try, it's like, maybe if I hold down the shift key, it will be, yeah, it's easier. So hold down the shift key when you're trying to do that. It makes it a little bit easier to do. Um, then we want to uh, drop this down. But right now, it's two millimeters above, and it's 33 high, so we need to go down 35 down 33 because we are 31 yeah 31 or 33 is what we want so now it's just below the build plane now we can just align these two alignment tool here and there now we have our little diamond shaped thing with Bob I don't know if I did that right I, have to, I might have to go down two more yeah see how See how the uh, the cone is is uh, flush with the or the build plane. We want to go two more. So I was right the first time. It was thirty five. Okay, so now oops, now it's not flush. See how the the ring? Well, maybe we had it right. So let me just undo it. Yeah, we, I guess that's what we want. I don't. This doesn't seem like the math works out in my head, but maybe I'm just confused. So select all three shapes and group them together. So we're doing that. Say group. Yeah, so we group them together. We have our shape. And then we go on to the next step. Uh, next we grab a box. Here's our box. Grab that on. Uh, what we'll do is... Um, Size it to 31, same dimensions as the cylinder there. It's kind of big, but we'll line these up, and then we'll use the box to be our cutout. So 
I'm aligning here, going here and then here. Oh, and then here, I guess. And we want to lift the box up off the build plane about four millimeters. So let's do that. We're selecting just the box, get out of alignment mode, and then lift that up. Uh, four millimeters there. And we've got to do the same thing on the other side, so underside. So we got the box selected, so I'm going to duplicate the box. And then duplicate, I'm going to hit the letter D, because that'll help me pull it down. We have to go down 33. So let's grab that other box. And we'll use that arrow to go down 33 is what we want there. That's just below the build plane. And now all we have to do is select all of those shapes and then group them together and then we have our kind of weird looking ring thing. Yeah. It's like a big pancake -y type thing. But this is going to be our stripes on our on our uh, module over here. All right. So the next step then, we're going to line these up and then we'll use these as our rings. So lining that, those up. Alignment will go here and here. And it says to pull it up off the work surface by 52. So I'll grab just the ring part and we'll bring it up 52 there. Now we'll duplicate that and then we'll move it down five. That gives us the next ring. And then we say duplicate again and it just repeats that pattern. Maybe one more time. Oh yeah, it saves a lot of time. So. Now we have our rings. And then finally, uh, we've duplicated them. And now we group everything into uh, one item. Notice when we do that, though, we lose our color. I kind of like the color. So I go back in here and say, I want this to be multicolored. That way we have that. And then our research pod. Hmm. I should have done that before we grouped it. But it would have been nice if I could have made it gray. So let me see if I can do that before I group it. Ooh, that was weird. <laughs> so here I'm just selecting the research pod. Has this been grouped yet? I don't know. I'm going to choose gray or multicolor and then gray. Yeah, that's better. And now I'll group it. Yeah, it keeps turn on multicolor again so I get those stripes. So uh, there we go. We have uh, our rocket engine. Uh, we have our research module uh, ready to go. And then we'll start the next step uh, in the next video.